Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Kind of, sort of, not really, maybe? Clickbait? I don't know. Behind me, I don't have my moon. It's currently charging, so I already feel sad. I feel like this video is not going to be good because I don't have my moon behind me. <sighs> but we'll have to learn how to power through it. On today's video, what we're going to be talking about is two products. Oh my god, who am I? We're going to be talking about the Cat Bundy Lash Liner because one of you adorable darn little pumpkins asked me to review this. I also saw that Cat Bundy released a new dagger tattoo liner. Oh, fucking fancy. I feel like no one talks about Cat Bundy purely for the choices that she's making in the sense of not vaccinating her child. So what I will say is that this is purely about the makeup, it has nothing to do with the person. I also don't have a child, so who am I to uh, judge someone's uh, parenting? So I'm gonna just leave that on the table there. I don't know how you guys feel about her, whether you support her, whether you don't care, whatever the case may be. This is purely, purely, purely about the products, not about her or the choices that she's making. So. Big disclaimer right there. Now, what I will say, if you are new here, hello, my name is Teresa, and I have an awful, 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 awful fucking mouth. And if you're not into that and you're not into cursing, which is totally fine, and that's totally acceptable, I'm not here to judge anybody, feel free to accept the video, and thank you for the view. I do appreciate it that you can view one of the other million and one other YouTubers out there that is reviewing these products, and we can pretend like this never happened. That's fine. I'll always remember you, though. I'm also gonna put a time code right here, so if you actually just wanna jump to the review, feel free. Yo, okay. You know what's so funny? I thought my subway drama was over, but no. I don't understand my commute anymore. Like today, today sucked. Today actually really sucked. I got to leave work a little bit early. First train was like incredibly fucking late and I had to wait like 10 minutes for it. And then, but I finally got on and ran as a local. That was annoying. Got off the train, wait for the next train, wait for my last train. And finally a train kind of pulls in and it's just really crowded. But unfortunately, I don't know when the next train's gonna come and I just wanna go home at this point. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna throw myself into this cattle car and just hope for the best. So I get on the train and I fucking, can, can we talk about fucking etiquette here? There, nobody, okay. There needs to be a list of things that you shouldn't do on a subway. Eat a full course meal, clip your toenails, shit on the train. I don't know why people feel it's appropriate to just act like complete fucking animals on the train. And I say that because this one dude, so here I am, it's crowded and you know, there's poles. If you aren't familiar with any subway or you haven't fucking seen a picture of one, there are poles, right? In the subway, you hold on to them because that's what they're designed to do, not to fucking lean on them. Tell me why this guy is like literally leaning up on the pole. You know, he has his hand on the other pole like this. I'm gonna use my cup for example, okay? Right, here's the pole. I'm like literally holding on like this because this fat fucking shithead has his whole back somehow eating the pole. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be like, hey, hey guy, hey, 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 hi, hi, trying to hold, uh, trying to hold on? Yeah, no, he didn't give two fucking shits. I tried to say, excuse me, nothing. Like, this dude did not, saw me, didn't give a fuck. I was like, you know what? I don't want you to, like, physically get harmed, but at the same time, I want, like, your day to get fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, you're walking and your mouth's open and a bird shits in it. Like, that's what I want something to happen. I want that kind of shit to happen to you, sir. <sighs> fucking asshole. And then I have another guy come in who has literally, like, just bags of Subway, like the restaurant, like the fucking hero. So he's, like, holding on to them, not holding on to any kind of pole, right? So he's just like this. I'm like, my man, just fucking stop it, stop it, put your hand on the fucking pole and hold on. Actually, he winds up doing that, stumbles into me, steps on my foot, I'm wearing flip flops. He's not a petite man, okay? So he steps on my foot and then turns around and looks at me and rolls his eyes. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You're getting mad at me? Fuck you, guy. So of course, I looked at him and he looked at me and he was like, Ugh. And oh, so he's another one. I hope a bird shits on him later too. I hope a bird literally shits on his sandwiches while he eats them. Fuck that guy. Oh, you think it's all done? No, 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 no. It, nope, nope. Even though I never get a seat throughout my whole commute, I was able to kind of wedge myself into the door. Tell me how this man gets on the train like he's wearing a fucking winter coat. I'm not even joking. He's wearing a winter fucking coat. It's fucking summer <laughs> it's august so i immediately know something's wrong with him so he literally he's just like doing this and i'm like all right whatever yeah doesn't have headphones <laughs> so i don't know what music he's listening to he literally stands in front of me and just does this <laughs> trying to make eye contact with me just 
literally just did this. And the more he kept doing it, I was like, I, 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 this is never gonna stop. This is it, I don't know what to do now. While he kept dancing with more intensity, cause he just kept getting like really into it like this, like really fucking aggressive. I literally just kept going and just. And then eventually he just went like this. And then he walked away. Cause I guess I just wasn't feeding into his bullshit. He goes in front of another lady who was sitting down reading. And I guess she didn't put two and two together with the fact that, oh, it's August, he has a winter coat on. So she thought he was normal. She smiled at him and he was just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You reading something? What are you reading? What are you reading? I was like, what the fuck is this? Literally the lady was just like, huh? I don't speak English. <laughs> she put her head down and started reading her Kindle. And then this dude, he like puts himself right across from me, but like at the other door. So now I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I have two stops left. How am I gonna get through this man? So now in my head, I'm thinking, all right, I could probably take my keys out if he attacks me, you know, like punch him with my keys. Or maybe I can just like throw all my force into like my left foot and just like, like really like put my shoulder into him if he doesn't let me go. Like this is the fucking shit I'm playing on in my head. Lo and behold, he actually got off the next stop. So all my planning was for nothing. But I was like, fuck man, like what is up with these fucking crazy people so and I know I, I already said this in a video where like I pleaded pleaded for it to be a normal commute but holy shit today was like some other fucking specialness so yeah that's my day how was your day all right I'm gonna put the lash liner on first I like to think of myself as an eyeliner connoisseur and I know what works for me and what doesn't work for me and I, I tried a million and one different eyeliner products. When I heard that there was going to be a liner dedicated for your waterline, I was a little creeped out. <laughs> Not gonna lie because essentially it's just a fucking stick. Okay, that's the stick to give you an idea. Swatch it on the back of my hand. As you can see, the shit is very black and it's very thick. Okay, we're going to try one eye. <laughs> one eye with this and then we'll do the other eye the other way and we'll see uh, how everything goes. Okay, so this is weird. Okay, oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. You see how I'm like talking myself off? Like I'm just so nervous. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, fuck, okay, 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 fuck, okay. Okay, I need to stop saying okay. <laughs> I do this for you guys. No oh, fuck. All right. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah! Oh, I don't. Oh, it's okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, kind of goes like right in your eyeball. I'm not gonna lie. See how, uh, yeah, I got straight up in my eyeball. <sighs> okay, all right. I think you could also do the upper lash too, so. Let's just pepper that in. First and foremost, what I will say is that it feels very wet. So I think that's why I look alert, like I just saw a rat, <laughs> because I don't want to close my eye too much for the fear of it kind of running down. It's definitely very scary. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, okay. That was gross. I'm sorry, y'all. It's probably the weirdest way I would ever put any sort of liner on my waterline. Also, I have very watery eyes in general. So you can kind of see that it's already breaking down right there. And I know I've seen videos where it's like, oh, it truly stays black. My waterline is very, very moist. Ew, that sounds so weird to say. I can only really use maybe two different kinds of eyeliner. One being from M Cosmetics and the other one being from Almay. I have tried a million one other eyeliners. People recommend this stuff to me. Never works. So those are the only eyeliners that I find that actually stay in my waterline. I do appreciate while it's very black, just like my soul, it is breaking apart a little bit. So let's try this one more time again. Try to deepen that shit up. I mean, I don't hate it. I think it's fine. It's also like a little thick though for my liking. And I don't like how you get so close to your fucking eyeball. But I think in, in all the videos, it's always like, press it right by your eye. Oh, wow. Wow, look how great it is. Yeah, see it's like all this black shit that gets in your eye. Okay, oh, And I'm, I think it's eye safe. Well, I hope it's eye safe. <laughs> I definitely 
don't feel any discomfort, but I could definitely feel that there's something in my waterline. And it's not the same feeling as having eyeliner in my waterline. Like there definitely feels like some sort of foreign wet object on my waterline. So before we go any further, why don't we try the other guy now? Oh wow, okay, and it actually dries down as a matte black. Interesting. So this one is the Dagger Tattoo Eyeliner. This one is a waterproof liquid liner, and it has like a very weird kind of tip. So while the normal one has more of a pointed tip, like right here, I'm just gonna draw a little line there. This one has more of like an angled tip. I'll just draw a line right there. This is the original tattoo liner, and then this is this dagger one here. I just tried to like move this on my hand, and it's definitely, yeah, okay, okay. So it, def it definitely doesn't stay in your hand. And I've, I've actually had it chill in there for a couple of minutes, completely dry. So I think one of the claims was that it lasts all day. I don't know about that. <sighs> I suck at liquid liner, y'all, so just bear with me, all right? Line's a little bit thicker than I like, but the application-wise, it's totally fine. I like it. It's, it's it's quite nice. Is it better than the Fenty Fly Liner? No, honestly, I really do love the eyeliner from Fenty because I love how thin the line is. And for someone like me, who, bitch, I don't got a lot of real estate up there, I need to, to keep things very thin and kind of flushed across my lash line. And the fact that I don't wear false eyelashes, I can't like use that to correct any mistakes. So I really need something that is going to be very, very thin. You know, I would say that this acts exactly like the normal tattoo liner, except for the kind of brushed tip. This was really more designed for someone that has done wings. You know what, fuck it, Why not, we're already here. I might as well just make an ass of myself, right? Apparently, I think this is what's supposed to make it easier. Uh, fuck, all right. Okay, okay. All right. See, I'm like not very good at this. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a little janky. I got it, I got it, no worries. I, I'm well aware how shitty it looks. Let's try it on the side, fuck it. Might as well just look like a complete clown. Okay, um, can we pretend that didn't happen? <laughs> oh, uh, y'all, I told you I suck at this, all right? I'm not good at this. My eyes are too small and like, I just don't have steady hands. Well, I'm not a fan of this, whatever the fuck this look is. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> whatever, I don't care. That's not the point. The point is, do you really need this? I guess it depends on what you're looking for. So personally, I still think the fly liner is better only because I like a very thin and precise line. Before I used this product, I really did like the tattoo liner. I didn't use it all the time, but I found that for me, it was the best liquid eyeliner. Now after trying fly liner, which if you haven't seen the video, I'll just link it right over here. I'm more inclined to stick with that and less with this. So I don't think I would really pick this up. If you're someone that does wings and you do them very well, and I bow down to you, bitch. I think you might be interested in this because I felt like it did, it was a little easy for me to create something because of how angled the brush was. It's just, I just suck at it. So <laughs> that's why it looks like shit. I think overall, it's actually kind of like nice how easy it was to kind of like flick it. So the lash liner is actually starting to break down in here. Okay. Yeah. 
it's not really staying in my waterline, but like I mentioned before, I have very watery eyes, so I'm very picky when it comes to eyeliner. I say you could totally skip out on this guy. I don't think it's really worth the money in that sense, especially when kind of works. And it's also kind of really like, it's kind of scary. It did apply very easily. It's very disconcerting shoving something really cold and liquidy on your waterline. And also I don't like that it touches your eyeballs. And I'm sure this has to be eye safe. I would hope anyway, but it's a little disconcerting when it's like all black and then you're kind of like fishing out all the black goo in the <laughs> No, I don't like this. I definitely am not, nope. I don't, I don't think I'm ever really gonna ever use this again because to me, I nope. Never gonna use it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, it didn't really work, y'all. Oh, you know what, actually, let's test something here. The liner, though, the actual liquid liner, it stays. Actually, all three. Fenty and both Cat Bundy's. This, yeah, yeah, beesh. Doesn't really go. Yep. Long last in my asshole. Let me know down below if you're interested in purchasing up any one of these things. If you're not, if you don't care, whatever. I don't care. I just like hearing from you guys because I adore and love you all. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. And follow me on Instagram. The other day I did an Insta story about some garbage that was on the corner of my block. Monsters live by me. Yay. <laughs> and I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.